students welcome back to the mathematics class in today's class i am going to discuss with you exercise 1.3 of real numbers chapter of class 9th right this exercise uh, we will be starting today there are only two problems in this exercise visualizing the decimal numbers on a number line using a method called as successive magnification okay so using this method we have to plot that means we have to visualize the this decimal number on the number line we have done uh, um, representing the rational numbers representing irrational numbers on the number line in exercise 1.1 and exercise 1.2 right that is for example root 5 root 10 and 2.60 like that or uh, uh, we have also represented the um, improper fractions proper fractions on the number line now we are going to represent a decimal number okay a decimal number using this method of successive magnification here well let's start here and before that those who have not watched the previous uh, video lessons of exercise 1.1 1.2 the introductory part of real numbers check it in the i button here and also the description in the description there will be links provided right now let's proceed here in exercise 1 uh, 1.3 this first one 2.784 on the number line so what is this successive magnification the word itself successive successive means uh, immediate next successive we, we all also call it as a successor predecessor like the predecessor means before one successor means next one like right? successive means in a chain in a uh, next to next apart okay magnification means you you know the magnifying glass which we use uh, in uh, physics the glass which is used to zoom some uh, uh, letters or objects if you see the object with that magnifying glass that will become uh, zoomed out okay it, it will become bigger to visualize so that is called magnification so using this method first i want to represent 2.784 okay this is not a recurring decimal this is not a non-terminating is just terminating at one point okay so here if i take the number line like this okay this is the number line so here usually number lines will be uh, from zero okay negative side this side and positive numbers to this side okay so this is a number line see this point 2.784 means it is after 2 and below 3 so after 2 and below 3 right so in this part this should lie exactly where it lies we should see that means here what i will be doing first this is the general number line and the point here 2.7 means after 2 so here i am placing a magnifying glass suppose this is the magnifying glass that in the successive number line successive means the next one successive number line i will only take this magnified part and keep it here so that is if i take two here and three over here somewhere three so this part the small part has been magnified be, became big zoomed out okay this much part so this is magnified and kept here on another number line i am uh, to represent it okay now here it is 2.784 now between 2 and 3 actually this is all decimal system isn't it all the decimal system we we uh, uh, segment it into 10 parts deci itself is 10 so we'll make partition into 10 parts for making it 10 parts uh, i need uh, 9 isn't it one so one two three four five six seven okay 7 8 9 and this is the 10th part so this is my 3 this is 2 so how many parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 right so 10 parts i had made i had segmented this 2 and 3 and magnified it and segmented into 10 parts now here 2.7 first let's take first decimal digit 2.7 this this becomes here 2.1 this is 2.2 this is 2.3 
this is 2.4 2.5, 2 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9 and this is 3, 3 or 3.0. Yes, so in 10 parts of man. Our digit, the number is after 7, 8, 8 is there. That means, so after 2.7, it should be. Yes, after 2.7, below 2.8, it should be. That means here I will be placing the magnifying glass. So, I will magnify this part. This is just magnifying glass. Okay. So, this part. This is magnified and placed here. In the successive number line. So, that is called as successive magnification. This part I will again write. Here, this is my 2.7. This side it will be 2.8. Let us segment it into again 10 parts. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So this is 2.8. This one. This is 2.7. This has been magnified and kept here. This has been magnified and kept here. Right. So here 2.7 to 2.8. Again I have segmented into 10 parts. Now uh, what is this one? This is 2.71. This is 2.72. This is 2.73. 7, 4, 7, 5, 2.76, 2 2.77, 2.78, 2.79 and 2.8. After 7, 9, 2.8 here. Now we will see our number. This is 2.78. Yes, 2.78 and there is another number 4. That means it should be after this. After 2.78 and below this. Right, so I'll keep a magnifying glass here, 2.78 and 2.79. This has been magnified and zoomed out here and I'll write another here. So what is this? This is 2.78. So what should be here? It should be 2.79. Let us segment it again into 10 parts. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So this is 2.78. 9. So this part magnified here. Again made into 10 parts. Now this becomes 2.781. So this becomes 7, 2.782. 2.783. Yes. 2 2.784. 2.785. 2.786. 2.787. 2.788. 2.788. Sorry, 7, 7, 8, 9 and here 2.79. After 8, 9 it comes 9, 0. Okay, so 9, 0, 0 has no value. So I am not writing that. So this is 2.78 and 2.79. In between I have segmented into 10. Now we will see what is our number 7, 8, 4. So where is 7, 8, 4? This part. Okay, so this is the final representation. Okay, 2.784. This is what we can represent using the successive magnification method. So what I did first general number line, the integer number line in that the number is in between 2 and 3. So I have kept a magnifying glass here. This is zoomed out and kept it in another number line. I have segmented into 10 parts. Then here the first digit is 7. So after 7, so 2.7 to 2.8 it lies. So keeping magnifying here. Again 2.7 to 2.8, segment it to 10 parts, keeping the magnifying here. Again that part is been zoomed out here. The later on up to how many digits, if there are so uh, many more, then you can also, if, if it is again 2.7845, if it is 4.5. So between 4.5 and 4 and 4.5, this here you should keep a magnifying glass and again do it. Okay, But the number is still here. So this is our final location of or representation of the decimal number on the number line using successive magnification here we can also write this is step one so it's mentioned in your text like this okay so if you do if you don't write also it's okay but this is step three this is very simple if you understand there are only two in the exercise okay these are the steps so successively we have written the 
number line. Okay, pause it and note it down here. Visualize 5.28 bar on the number line up to three decimal places using the same method that is successive magnification because it is under the same exercise. Okay, here to the uh, first problem and this problem, that problem was a terminating decimal and it is not at all recurring. Here this is non-terminating and repeating decimal. So which part is repeating? 2, 8 is been repeated. So there is a bar. So here this is, this can be written as 5.28 2, 8, 2, 8, so on, okay. But we have to represent, how can, if, if it is going on like this, we cannot represent actually the number, okay. So even the successive magnification does not end, it goes on. We, we don't have the final answer, we don't get. But here given the condition that up to three decimals, for recurring decimals, for recurring which will be going on, three decimals is placed, so, up to 3 decimals only we have to do. That means 2, 8 and 2. 3 decimal places. That's all. The rest we have to, we don't have to plot. We have to plot only 5.282. It means that. Okay. So, let us take the number line. First number line is the simple one. That is the original one. 0, 1, 2. Yes. So, 3, 4, and 5 okay so likewise you can take the negative side this side negative numbers this is the usual integer number line now here it is 5.2 that means above 5 and below 6 yes so let me take so I have to keep my magnifying glass here right so that part should be zoomed out and written here that is 5 and 6 be so 5 here and 6 to the other side. So I'll segment it into 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9 and 10. This is 6. Okay, this is 6. This is 5 and 6. Now here 5.2. That means again we'll write here 5.1. This is 5.2. This is 5.3. 5.4. 5.5. 5.6. 5.7. 5.8, 5.9 and this is 6. So where I have to keep this is 5.2 means 2 and above that. So after 5.2 and 5.3 I have to keep the magnifying glass. So we have to zoom out this. So this part I have to zoom out. Again write the successive number line. So that is 5.2 and this one should be 5.2. 3. So inside I have to segment again 10 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. One. Okay. So we will write this 5.21, 5 5.22, 2, 3, this one 5.24, 5.25, 5.26, 5.27, 2.8, 5.29 and this is 5.3 so where should we keep see the number here this is equal to this so this 5.28 so where is 5.28 and after that so here we have to keep the magnifying glass okay so till the third decimal place so that means this will be the our final successive number line see here this one so this is uh, 5.28 so this should be 5.29. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is 10. Okay. So this is 5.29. So I have again segmented into 10. Let us write here. So this is 5.281, 5 5.28, 5.28, 5.28, 5.28, 5.28, 5.28, 5.285 okay this is 5.286 5 5.287 5 88 5.289 here right so what's our number 5.282 we have to stop till three decimals so 5.282 so this part so i'll represent it with another color right 5.282 so this is our final answer.
this is 5.282 so like this using successive magnification we can represent it on the number line so with this we have completed the exercise only two problems are there but they are very important using successive magnification means you you should not represent only on one number line but a success uh, successive number lines like this okay note it down and let's end the class up to here we will see the next exercise and with a new concept in our next class thank you all